Welcome to the Rogers Space Heaters International Maintenance and Repair Video Series. Number 1. Replacing an Ignition Transformer. If you are replacing an earlier ignition transformer, it may look different from the transformer shown here, but the principle is the same. Tools you will require. A small PosiDrive screwdriver, 5.5 mm spanner, 8 mm spanner or socket, and the ignition repair kit for 230 volts, master part number 4110.609, which includes the ignition transformer, new HT cable, mounting plate, and fastening bolts. The large fastening bolts to secure the mounting plate are those originally used to mount the old transformer. Before beginning the job remember the most important thing is safety first. Be sure the heater is completely disconnected from the power supply and do not attempt this repair if the combustion chamber is still hot from recent use. Remove the retaining bolts and lift away the top cover. Remove the fan guard and the compressor air hose from the barb. Remove the HT cable from the spark plug electrode. Lift the motor from its mounted position, turning it over and resting it as demonstrated. Remove the four screws and side panel. Remove the earth cable from the lower shell earthing point as indicated. And pull off the power cable. Pull out the old HT cable from the transformer and remove. Fit the new HT cable to the lower shell. Remove the two fastening bolts holding the old transformer and put to one side for use with the new mounting plate. Offer up the new transformer and secure with the fastening bolts. Fit the new HT cable to the electrode and attach the HT cable to the transformer making sure the cable is pushed fully home. Feed the power cable through the lower shell in preparation for connection. Connect the earthing cable to the earthing point and push fit the power cables onto the terminal block. Replace the motor into its original mounting position and push the air hose onto the barb. Replace the side panel and retaining screws. Replace the fan guard and top cover. Refit and tighten the top cover retaining screws.